everybody. It's Joyce from Joyce Farkas Fluid Art. Um, I just wanted to do a follow-up video to the one I released yesterday about the color cubes and using them for your paintings. Um, today I thought I might show you how I go about mixing up my paint um, as part of this uh, little series and um, just show you my process and what um, I'll share with you what um, recipes I use. So um, give me a minute to get set up and we'll get you started. Okay, we're back. So I'm working on this card right now. Oh, and I'll show you this one. I've got it all mixed up and ready to go. So I've pulled the colors that I think are closest to these colors. And I'm going to mix those up. So, what I use that works best for me is I love Karen Dershen. I guess I'm saying that right. From Waterfall Acrylics. I use her recipe um, for my pouring medium. Her recipe is 50% Valspar Ultra and 50% Bare Deep Base 8300. Um, I mix them together and I put them in this um, used to be a creamer container and I love this because it pours <laughs> so it's a great uh, vessel to put your um, pouring medium in. I start everything off, disperse my pigments and um, loosen up my um, two paint with uh, Josanya gloss varnish and then if I still need it thinner um, this came as a recommendation from Karen as well at Waterfall Acrylics um, is the golden high flow medium I'll add that it's very runny um, so I'll add a little bit of that to thin things down if I need to so I thought I would kind of give you an overview of how I put things together I mix my two paints in these little cups. Um, I used to work in food services, so I bought a bunch of these from food services when I was there, um, and I, I lid them. I like having two different vessels to put my paint into. I like these little baby cups from Fluid Art Co. Um, for my pigments. Um, and then that way I can distinguish right away um, what a tube paint is versus a pigment. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some Josanya in the bottom of each of these. I just put a squirt in the bottom. It doesn't have to be a lot. Um, you can just see that I'm not putting a ton Oops. in the bottom of the cups. And when I mix, I try to do them in bulk so that I'm not spending a gob of time back and forth. Um, and then the next thing that I do is I'm going to put a squirt of this paint down in there. I don't measure. Um, I'm looking for color and consistency um, at this point. I am going to put a mask on so I may sound a little muffled. Um, I, you know, my asthma will act up terribly if um, if I let this pigment get to me. So I put about just a tad more than that in each one. I'd like the color to be vibrant um, and not washed out. I'm only going to fill those cups about halfway um, with pouring medium. That looks about right on that one. So I have found that this recipe works for me. There's hundreds out there. 
In fact, it was so confusing when I first started because I felt like, why do we have all these different recipes? Why isn't there one recipe? And I soon learned that what worked for one may not work for another. There can be all kinds of factors. Um, you know, what part of the country you live in, what products are available to you. Um, are you overseas? Are you in Canada? Are you in the US? Um, all those different things play into it. Weather plays into it. Are you in a very humid community? Are you in a very cold climate? Are you in a warmer climate? Um, I personally am in Maryland. Um, we don't get a lot of snow here, but we get occasional snow. Right now it's sunny and just kind of cool and dry. Now in the summer it gets very humid here. So I may end up switching recipes about June or July based on whether or not this one's still performing. But right now in the winter, this works for me. So I just mix, I'm mixing everything up with the Jusanya and dispersing the pigments. Just give them a quick mix. I had a little trouble um, mixing the other card up. Uh, one of the reds was very, oh, kind of a bricky color. It just didn't have anything very similar. So I ended up mixing up um, some, you know, multiple colors to try to achieve it. It's not an exact match, but it's close enough. So... I remember when I first started out, I couldn't get my paintings to come out. It didn't seem like my, my piggies were doing what they were supposed to do. My cells weren't developing. Um, and I remember saying to myself, there's got to be something they are not telling us. There must be a, a step that they leave out or something that they do that makes them more successful. Um, but I have learned that it's just learning the nuances of everything that you have to do. Um, there's no special uh, way. There's no one way to do things. There's multiple. There's multiple products. And you just have to practice, 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 and try different things. almost there. Everything will be mixed up. I'll uh, go through the colors with you here at the end once everything's mixed. I know I'm doing that backwards to everybody else that does these videos, but it'll just be easier. So, Alright, so we're going to take our um, pouring medium and I'm just gonna pour till it looks right to me about there that'll be good enough you don't want a ton of paint I want enough paint to do four or five projects and this is my new method that way I don't have aging paint so I pick a color scheme and I plan four or five projects with that color scheme. Um, and then hopefully at the end of it, after I've done all of them, hopefully I'm out of paint. And I don't have paint sitting around and aging on me. So I'm just going to pour this in, give them a quick stir. And I want to show you what I do to label things. I used to have a label maker and I used to sit and painstakingly make labels for everything. <clears throat> I don't do that anymore. 
I write on it with a permanent marker. And believe it or not, with a little soap and water and a scrubby, it comes right off. So there's my first color. Like I said, it's not a perfect match, but it's, it's, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. But it's pretty close. It's a little darker. A little closer to this one. Well, no, not really. But it, it looks pretty good, I think. So, it took me a while to find that one. So there's our first color. And the second color, and this was um, Ash Pink by Matisse. The next color is Golden Peach by TLP. It's a little bit more orangey than the card. But again, I'm not worried about matching 100%. I don't know if you can see that. But it's pretty close. And Golden Peach is so gorgeous. So why wouldn't I use it? So it's perfectly mixed. Now, another thing is I will not start painting today. All of these paints will sit overnight and have the opportunity to kind of meld and um, the color, the colors to um, get all the bubbles out. So I always mix the day before. I do my planning today and my painting tomorrow. So this one is definitely off in color. Um, you'll be able to see that right there. It's definitely more pink. But I'm going to go with it just because I had trouble matching this color. So, and who doesn't love watermelon? It's so beautiful. My next one, this is probably going to be a little darker. And my swatch here on the card. This is, um, I think, Wild Atlantic. Yep, Wild Atlantic. One of the new T TLP piggy colors. Um, but again, a little off. But it's, oops, not ready to drop it, drip everywhere. It's close. We'll take it. And then last but not least, the ones I'm going to mix up, this is um, Storm, a new, another new one. Um, in the wise words of Lisa Marvin, always start with a tube paint to anchor your, anchor your piggies. So that's what I'm doing. I was able to find a tube paint that I really liked for that first color. So So here's the last color. Storm with this gray color. I don't want to drip everywhere. That gray color there. I don't know if you can see that well. The black that's on the card, I'm going to use the black is going to be my base. So rather than mix up a black, I just thought I would use that as my base. So show you how I label things. I like to label things and date it. Um, just checking the date. Now that I'm retired, I forget the date always. So I just write right on top. This is Ash Pink by Matisse. And I always put today's date, which is the 7th. Just like so. And I do the same thing on my piggies. 
These are all ready to sit for tomorrow, to, till tomorrow. I'll check the consistencies tomorrow. This is golden peach. And two seven. I don't write TLP on these because I know then these, if it's in this baby cup, like I said to you before, if it's in this baby cup, it's a, it's a piggy. So and these are all ready to go. I will finish labeling these in a moment. But I wanted to show you my colors on this other one. Um, my very first one, let's see, right here. This is the one color that I had trouble mixing because I just couldn't find anything that was close. I'm going to use this. This is cadmium red. Um, it's close. It's in the family there maybe, um, but that's what we're going to use. Uh, the next color is Bloodstone. I'm just going to show you the piggy color for this one right here. I'm going to do Bloodstone. And then we're using Cappuccino for this one. And Mango for the orange here. And then I had to make a mix. I then tried really hard to come up with something that was close. You can see that last color in this one. So this is a mix, and it's a mix of primary red and cadmium orange from Liquitex and a splash of permanent brown matter from Atelier. So I love doing this because it's challenging to mix some of the colors, and it's interesting. What's neat about it is... Like with this one, I have enough paint, like I said, to probably do four or five projects. I probably have enough paint here to do a set of coasters, maybe a clock, maybe a uh, 10 by 10 painting. Um, I will keep going with projects with each one of these until it's done. And then when I go to name those projects. I will name them all under one name and I'm going to call it a collection. And I'm hoping in the long run that when people look at my Etsy shop and look at the collection, they go, oh look, she has a trivet that matches these coasters. And she has a painting that matches it as well. I'm hoping that maybe people will buy multiple pieces in um, the, you know, they'll have the opportunity to make matching things in, in one room or however they want to put it around. But I'm hoping it will end up with multiple sales for me. Stay tuned. I'll let you know if it works, but I like the process. Um, and another thing that I, I will do at the end is I'll put a little dot up here in the top of the corner. That means that I've done this before and I also record everything that I paint, how I paint it, and I'll put this number down with what I record. And I'll show you that in another video, but I wanted you to see my process. It's very organized and very thought provoking. <laughs> and um, the next thing I'll do is start getting my substrates planned. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.